Just love driving this thing. It feels so free. Got my sidecar. I still have not convinced Gina to be able to ride it in. I'm trying. I'm trying. Whoa, what do we have here? Oh, wow, look at this thing. Let's get to it. Look at that thing. Look at the tires on there. Open country. RTs. This is a power ram. Three quarter ton. Looks like Jeremy has his old truck for sale. Oh, I just love that whip on the back. Oh, man. Extended cab. This is Texas. We've got Texas. You can find this at Bose Custom. Whoa. Look in the interior and everything. Wow. Man. I, I just have to test drive it. I know Jeremy's going to be like, uh, you got enough trucks. I know. I know. All right. Jeremy's going to let me test drive this thing. Let's see here this. Ah, starts up good. I just love that little antenna on the back. It's almost like it's a remote control car or something. Man. This would be a fun truck to have. I don't know. I'm going to have to convince my wife. Man. I'm going to have to do her multiple favors if I'm going to get this one. Got way too many vehicles back at the farm right now. You see over there in the distance? Yeah, that golden wheat. Hopefully, we can get in the field. We have a major, major demo coming here from uh, John Deere. So, they're just coming out with a rotor. Well, I know one thing. We can't buy it right now because uh, I will be living in the doghouse. But we need to get over there get into the field, hopefully, get to harvesting already, because we are behind, like always, I got a lot of stuff to get ready, I gotta get ready for the John Deere coming here, so, uh, John Deere implement, they want to test out one of their new harvesters at our farm, so I was like, uh, yes, of course I want to, so, the good thing is, as I finally got our old waterlogged uh, 9600 a running. Our shop is a madhouse. I mean, we got semi trailers, we got semis getting the oil change, we got the old C70 over here getting the oil change, getting ready for harvest season. We finally got all of the water out of this old 9600, so. Uh, we don't have any water with the gear oil anymore. We got new gears on the back. We got this thing ready. I think I got it all greased up. I'm pretty sure it's all good to go until I start it up and I hear ba loud banging and then I probably left a belt off or a chain or I left a 916 wrench in the feeder house. All of them are very bad things. Hopefully, We'll cross our fingers when we start it. We have a lot of stuff to get ready. We got in. We got to go pick up another grain cart. So I need two grain carts because these things ain't exactly big. They're pretty small. Uh, I know you don't usually need two grain carts in wheat, but beans uh, John Deere's coming around. I'm going to end up picking up another grain cart anyways figure I could put that on the old Magnum we, we we're gonna have too much green in the field if we don't get the Magnum out there I mean all we'll have is green in the field we just can't leave the Magnum in the shed all the time we got to take it out got to use that old girl we got to the old Dodges are gonna meet each other I have to say I think I like this dot uh, this old first gen first better than the second gen over here. It's just my opinion. But 
Man, I have always liked the looks of this. I mean, this just looks like a farm truck. Uh, do we have something coming on the radio? Let's see what we have on the radio over here. What is on A7.5? I'd like to give a big thanks to all my viewers. Hope you're all healthy and safe. Make sure you smash that like button. Catch you later, y'all. All right. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Just make sure you do it an odd number. Odd number is always correct. What's up, heifers? Oh, you aren't heifers, you're all steers. I'm sorry. Did I offend anybody? Hopefully not. So, uh, they're all doing good now that they're not standing in a foot of water. Looks like their yard is actually drying out now, so. Thank goodness this thing is not waterlogged. We still have to get the cleaners in. We'll probably just end up bodos in that old double wide down there. I I don't even want to look at my grinder mixers down there in the shed. Just it's it's just heartbreaking. All right, now that that's unhitched, we will go down and pick up our grain cart. Oh, better get hazards on. I have one neighbor that gets very mad at me when I drive around with my forks. Uh, I really don't understand that, but I guess it could be dangerous, especially if you hit somebody on the road. I guess safety is paramount. Safety first. Alright, check that off the list. And uh, driving skills put on the list. Alright, so we got this. Of course, we went with red for obvious reasons good little team here it's like the old uh, truck dealership still kicking over here all right we gotta fill this thing up with some little old go-go juice get that filled up speaking of go-go juice I'm gonna need a big pail today because you know why we hit are going to be in that cab for a long time. Probably at least 12 hours. I probably won't even take a leak. If I have to take a leak, I probably won't even walk down the the ladder. I'll probably just pee right off the ladder. You know, that's, that's how you do it when you're in the harvester. You just keep going. Especially if you have two grain carts. That's the best thing about having one grain cart. Sometimes you have the ability to stop, take a leak, find the, you know, the the Porter John out there in the field and uh, do your business but when you have two grain carts they're just nagging you the whole time you have no time whatsoever to you know go to the bathroom now let's get all this stuff we're gonna start with the field right next to our house uh, I'm gonna start firing up all these and start filling them up with fuel Get some go-go juice in everyone. Get everybody, get everything over there and uh, start firing away. All right, it's about time for every farmer's dreaded time. After you work on a harvester, starting up, you're always afraid you left that 9 16th wrench in the harvester. Hear no loud noise. Give one more try. Here we go. Man, I think we're lucky today. Oh, yeah. Look at that wheat. Beautiful. I think wheat is probably one of my favorite things to harvest just because. I don't know, it's always in like the middle of summer. I guess most of the time uh, you're out of school, so it's a harvest you get to complete or do the most of. Uh, most of the time, you know, corn harvest, bean harvest, and all that stuff is done when uh, I was in school, so I couldn't really enjoy it. Wheat was always fun. 
wasn't fun because a lot of times it was blazing hot out there. 16 hour days, but uh, you barely noticed them because you were harvesting the gold. Looks like we're not getting the best yield, but oh well. It was uh, waterlogged for a few days, so I'm just glad it's still standing straight up. Don't know where this uh, demonstration John Deere dealer should be here any moment. So they should be about out here. They are uh, extremely excited about their new harvester. I went all the way around this field and I still do not have a full hopper. Yeah, our wheat isn't looking great this year. Probably got almost too much water. Got hot a little bit too quick. I don't know, but our wheat isn't looking good. Finally, our 85% dinger went off about time seemed like that took forever hopefully this new harvester should be showing up at any time that's what I hear at least still enjoy harvesting this old wheat thrashing the wheat don't know I think probably buying that second grain cart over there was a mistake. We definitely don't even need it in this field. Alright, we are going to spin off here. Going to unload in our grain cart. Oh man, oh, whoa. Who is pulling in over here? Man, we got the whole crew. Why is that grain cart's auger out? Can't unload in you this way. Ooh, let's see all the pretty stuff we have. John Deere brought their prototype here. Ooh, John Deere is going to the rotors. It's no more Axoflow and Gleaner controlling the rotor world. I think there's a, more rotors out there. Or New Holland 2 had some rotor. Or did, were they conventional? I can't remember. So I know this is going to bring a lot of controversy. Uh, a lot of people. So this is really thought to be brought out at 2000, which wouldn't be correct for a 90s error but you can find a lot of them check it out machinerepeat.com there's a lot of 1999s which would be in the 90s so you have to go 99 to 2000 so 90 would be in the 90 error which a lot of these probably came out in the John Deere started testing these back in 98, I would imagine, and started slowly starting getting them out. They probably had a lot of, a few of them out in 99. I don't think there's a lot of them around. They're probably class, they're probably rare, let's just say that. But most of them you can find are 2000 and above. But they had some out there, so just so you know, this is why it's here. So this. John Deere brought this here. Test this out. So this is one of the first ones out here. This is the only one in Iowa currently. So, man. Extended cab. OBS. Dually. I like it. Beautiful. Jeremy just had to come over here. I think primarily Jeremy's here because he wants to try to sell his uh, power ram here. Primarily, that is why he's here. Why would else would you park it like you're gonna climb a rock? But, I like looking at it, that's for sure. So, Jeremy's gonna help me out here, so 
Let's get this thing unloaded. John Deere's gonna set it up. They have to do some calibrations and a lot of test. All right, John Deere's out here piddling around with their uh, harvester right there. We still need to unload old 9600 here. Can't really see anything right now. No, I better use my mirrors, dummy. Use the mirrors. There we go, unloading there. Looks like they started a strip right there. They're stripping. Not the good type of stripping either. I think they are basically calibrating it. Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to get to ride and we'll get a little cab action. But right now we need to make sure they set it right because that's too much money for my pocketbook right now. That's for sure. We can't afford some brand new right off the factory floor. STS rotor. So this 9600 here, it didn't wasn't using a rotor. So rotor, uh, I don't know if uh, the patent on that ran out. If that's why John Deere started, but or they just uh, started. They knew they had to compete with uh, the axle flow. That's why they came out. Uh, they are using a bigger head. So we have a 30 foot. 9650 STS is using a 35 foot. Still, you can tell we're not getting the best yield. What? What? What are you? Uh, really? Really? Sorry, am I in your way? Yeah. So apparently. They wanted to come on that side of their strip. Okay. unloaded over there Jeremy's driving the old 81 uh, the John Deere dealer they decided they wanted to drive the 96 a little bit let me tell you what I mean this cab just came off the factory floor and look at all that junk down there on the floor I mean seriously have some respect this thing should be smelling like a brand new harvester and we got some type of gooey stuff on the floor already. I don't know what they were doing in here, but it doesn't look professional. Let's just say that. Man, this thing is nice though. Not too different. The controls down here is obviously a little bit different. Biggest difference is in the guts of this thing. It's got a big old rotor running around. It's got a lot of sensors throughout the whole thing. Pretty uh, definitely are gonna be interested in this harvester once it rolls out officially don't think we're gonna afford this probably we are more of a five-year-old the 9600 really put us in the hole there so I, I, I prefer buying stuff about five years old 
maybe after it runs all with a custom crew we can pick it up with a few hour few thousand hours on the guts of it all right jeremy took it off he just had to use this thing i felt bad i mean he's helping me basically for free gotta let him use the new paint around here for a little bit i think i'm gonna get the 8100 speaking of new paint what the heck is eating off our paint off this thing thing looks horrible gotta fix that all right unloaded jeremy there but thank you all for watching and i will see you later over here in the 90s iowa 90s later y'all thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time uh, i got bored so i took the first gen out gonna do some sliding in the wheat stub uh, come on old girl get it going you can do it cummins Fishtail. Woohoo! Don't forget. Like the video. Thank y'all.